So right here you have Honeycomb 3.2 on a 7 inch. This is the Viewpad 7X. When, when are you releasing this one? So this will be the end of this month, so late September. And as you see, 3.2 running with brand new ViewScene 3D UI. So it's in operation just here. What is that? So that's just a bit of animation that it does on its own. So obviously you can interact with it. And this is something that we find very user friendly for, for users. Not everyone will get on with it. So we, we have the ability of turning it off within the OS as well. Nice, and uh, so it, it works like this works and like in, that? in both portrait and landscape mode, yeah. So we can go back to 3D just like that. Up to 16 different panels from within the device. Nice. So it's totally using the 3G acceleration in the UI right here? Yes. And otherwise you can you can go back to this kind of mode? Is this like kind of more yeah. like normal? What is this? That's, that's just the, those panels, but not yeah. on a 3D basis. You have your full app draw here as well. And you can go back, as I said, to vanilla uh, Android as well with nice. Honeycomb. And uh, so how's Honeycomb on a 7 inch? Is it awesome? Yeah. Everything's perfect? Very, very quick. Very, this very is so quick. awesome. This is cool. So it's going to be how much when you release? 349 Euro. 349 Euro all over Europe? All over Europe. You're releasing in the US as well? Uh, we are, I think it's going to be a little bit later and I can't, can't comment on the street, street price there. So. Already end of September? Yeah. Like where? Which every store? I I would love it to be every yeah? store. If they select it, then they can have it. Nice. And what is your screen? Uh, is that kind of like an IPS? Or what do you call it? It's a, a TN panel, but it is ten point multi touch. Ten point multi touch. Yes. And uh, what resolution was it? It's one hundred two four by six hundred. And you have HDMI. We have micro HDMI, so full ten eighty p. We have micro USB. And we have micro SD on there as well. GPS built in as well, so you're in mapping here. You could use Google Maps to pre cache a map and still use the GPS on the go. Awesome. Offline stuff. Yeah. This is so cool. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you.